This is a CB250 uh, Nighthawk. Um, crank seal has actually uh, blown out of the uh, out of the crankcase. Uh, so, you know, it's a pressure issue. What the situation be? Why they do this? this? Is the second bike I've had in a couple of years to do this. But I received a little bit of criticism in the last video I did that I, I didn't show how to remove the rotor. So I said, you know what? I'm here. Why don't I show people how to do that? Since I got to do it again. Now, first thing you got to do is I've obviously pull that cover off. But to get the actual rotor off, you know, we got to take this particular bolt right here. And it actually came off really easy. I put a wrench on it and gave it a whack with a hammer and the thing came right off because I didn't have any air or a gun over here to do it. But I was actually surprised at how easy it came off and loosened up. All right, the next thing I'm going to do here is I got a special tool here from Honda. This is a great one because it's actually got uh, four different sizes I can use. Um, this rotor is also the starter clutch assembly. Believe it or not, a couple of good whacks on that uh, on that T-bar. I think it'll blast right off there probably. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> there you go. You know what? I got it. <laughs> Maybe a little more aggressive than I like to get, but hey, you know what? There you go right there. There's the uh, starter clutch. That wasn't a great picture, but you know, there's a starter clutch. You've got your, uh, your rollers, your springs, and of course that unit up there is the actual gear that actually gets spun over by the starter motor to actually crank the engine. So that crank seal is going to be sitting right behind that unit. Awesome. I hope that helps some people out.